my god, look what the cat dragged in last night. Another General Motors truck from the same people. Pat. The story goes, when I first saw it, well it was in London, it had a silver front end on it and a nice Silverado front end, or I mean Sierra front end. Well, before it made it to the farm, someone in London saw that, that this had a perfect front end on it and decided to use it on their vehicle. So now the truck looks all fucked up, although it already did have that rust hole. So they welded a tow hitch on it so that they could move it around London to get it to this person's place to switch front ends. Since the truck hasn't been running for seven years, just like that other truck, it's got a bit of rust on this rear quarter, but not bad. And the only good body part left on the truck is this mint condition perfect door inside and out. So if anybody wants to buy it, it'd be too much of a waste to destroy it at Dave's farm. So let me know. Inside the back is a ver veritable garden of disgust. It's been sitting so long, it's got a microcosm of living organisms. And some uh, spare tires because the rims were so rusty on these ones that we had to switch the tires just to get it up here because they wouldn't hold air on the rust around the edges. Now let's see what we're in for. Fucking door don't work. Try the other one. Ooh, that good door works perfect. Hmm. Well, maybe that's where it came from. Is that something you put on a horse? It was a horse farm. Um, 274,511 kilometers. I have a key for it. Of course, it hasn't been started in seven years either. Now it works. Ooh, it's got power doors and power locks. Cool. Luxury. Any paperwork? Nope. Even got air conditioning. And it's a 1987. Now let's see what it's got for a motor. Looks like a 305 TBI throttle body. Lots of dust, no battery. Huh, no engine belt either, damn it. Guess I should best check the oil first. Ah, no problem, ready for a startup. Too bad there's no air cleaner. Um, no antifreeze either. Well, it was supposed to have ran seven years ago. Guess I'll go in, get a battery, and see what's going to happen. Got a battery now, we're all ready. That's all in. I just tried to move the alternator. I checked all the pulleys. I tried to use my pipe wrench. And that alternator is C solid, so now I know why. Definitely it's got no belt because whatever the last time it was running, it burnt the belt off. Let's go for it. Ugh. Why is it buzzing with the key out? Maybe the lights are on. Tilt steering. Ooh, nice. Um, no brakes. Nothing typical. Swaddle moves. Alrighty. So good so far. Ooh, that sounds tight. That was supposed to be a good battery. Ah! Battery issues. Fuck! Try two. Does it even have any gas in it? Um, I don't think so. 
Anyways, I'll just see what happens. Damn it. Maybe I'll put some gas in it. Oh well. Expensive shit. Got about eight liters in there now. Take two. Prime the system. Oh, I can see one white bar on the gas gauge now. Again. Again. Now let's see what's going to happen. Oh, yes. Yes! You can depend on your Chevrolet. Smoke and all. Ooh, that don't sound too nice. But she's a runner. I'm afraid to take my foot off the gas. It doesn't feel like it'll keep running. Here, we're going to try it. It's running on its own. Sounds like it's misfiring. Yeah, it's definitely misfiring. The way that motor is shaking. Big sucking sound, there's no air cleaner. Well, now I'll have to put some antifreeze in it and and let it warm up enough that I can uh, check for the misfire. Smoke's all gone now. Probably a good motor. That muffler is making a lot of noises. Amazing, no fuel leaks. Cool. Now for some recycled antifreeze. Now it's start try number three. I'm going to expect it's going to start now and I'm going to see if the transmission is going to work. I didn't check the fluid. Yes. Um, no brakes. Oh, cool. We're a moving. No power steering with no belt. I'm liking it. Hood still up. Feels trucky. Oh, it's running on six cylinders, I think. Well, we'll use reverse for brakes. Oh, oops, reverse stalls the engine. I should have gave it some gas. Oh, that stops you dead when you don't have brakes. Now the way I check to see which cylinders aren't running is I loosen each one of the spark plug wires on top of the cap and then I pull them off one by one while it's running. Whichever cylinders don't make a difference to how it runs, those are the ones that are not working. If you try pulling them off from the spark plug end, you'll get shocked. You do it on that end, you probably won't get shocked unless you put your finger near the metal nipple.